orders are as follows. The Incarnate ship we captured was part of a larger force called the Fleet of the Veil. The crew exhibited very little independent thought when questioned. It's as if they exist only as an extension of their leader's will. The she we keep hearing about? An Incarnate Queen? Precisely. They believe her to be a progenitor reborn, and that her great work will be to remake the galaxy. Ugh, zealots. Deluded fanatics. Worse than the Gulsian. I don't think it's all a delusion. If she succeeds in extracting and focusing all the power from the gate network, she could literally move stars. The data we recovered from the frigate Habeladin was very badly corrupted. Could you shunt the corrupted files to my consoles? Let me see if I can separate and reconstruct. Of course. The uncorrupted files indicate the Incarnate are obsessed with capturing the three original progenitor cores. Perhaps that's why she disappeared. To protect the cores. That would track with what I'm seeing in the Habeladin logs. Looks like they ran as far as they could before wiping their nav data. It feels like we're closer to Karen's trail than we've ever been. That may be. But our objective is to repair the synthetic cores at Naraka and then push on to Noctua 27. Good morning, Cadets. Welcome back to our Homeworld 3 playthrough where uh, I'm having a deja vu <laughs> for this mission. As, uh, did we have to deal with asteroids in the first homework game? Let's we'll see if uh, this is gonna be a bit different or kind of the same. And Knights mentioned the Garsens as well. You know, if you're gonna repair the course. Hazard! Hazard! Asteroids! Stand by for evasive maneuvers. We're getting out of here. Hull defense guns, online. Emergency repair crews to outer hull damage control positions. Full suits. I mean, the outer Command. hull looks have busted. we been redirected again? Negative. Our coordinates are right. The asteroids are not supposed to be here. Okay. Uh, looks like there's a big one over there. Intel, nav data confirms this is the Naraka Gate complex, but there is no historical record of an asteroid hazard at this location. Understood, Command. Running kinetic and telemetry sims to determine the source. Oh, nice. So this is... That's how the frigates are We must relocate out. to a safe zone on the shadow side of the larger asteroids immediately. The sim has determined the first safe location ahead. Move the mothership ah. to this location and provide defensive fire. Okay, okay, okay. Now, I'm just curious. Okay, so I mean, the interceptors can move easily. Intercept, fix, and fire. Where is the received cross? Okay. Message. Group two reinforced. Received. Whoa. Support figure to stay over United. there. And you know what? I am gonna. Rotational thrusters engaged. Crew be advised. Rotation underway. Yeah, rotate my mothership. So you guys, you know what? Sim projections on making it through in one piece are lower than I'd like. Keep the fleet close. And the Carcassonne protected. So am I missing actually some? The mothership has been struck by an asteroid. Yeah, all right. Uh, let's start moving. Uh, did I? Uh, I lost the support figure, right? Because I was supposed to have. Group one suffering. Imagine what do you think the original purpose of the repair bay at Naraka was? 
It's difficult to theorize about the motivations of a race that disappeared over a hundred thousand years ago. But given the position of Naraka in relation to the rest of the gate network, I suspect we are approaching some sort of way station facility. In its day, it may have built and maintained a whole fleet of gate building vessels. The trick now will be for me to convince the automated facility that we are one of those ships and we need our hyperspace cores repaired. Okay, anyone can do it. Bulkhead's holding, but repairs are needed. Yeah, all right, everybody so move there. I just lost the frigate as well. Just the mothership has arrived at the designated safe zone. Objective complete. Be advised, a wrecked incarnate ship has been identified in the field. Calculating optimal passage ahead. Damage is consistent with severe kinetic impact. No life signs. The wreck could have data about this asteroid storm. Acknowledged. Commence salvage operations. Right. Attention. We have an option to keep units docks. Okay, launch. Okay, auto launch off. Group two, taking losses. Right, I need my uh, fighters inside actually. Ready to go. This is not uh, not great. Go for Corvette. Send message. Copy move. Then you guys. A firm on that. Wall as well. Yeah. Ready to copy. Okay, nothing to. We are on location. Please advise. Bomber production complete. I don't have anything to harvest. So I need to salvage that one. Do I need... Okay, let's send just one. Hopefully, I don't need more than one. And you guys not Delta, stay wall. Let's get the support frigate. Group 7, reinforced. Wait, uh, do I have an interceptor out? Oh, <laughs> he's just out there having fun. Okay, you don't need that. Go, go, go. I'm glad that I have the option to keep my guys inside. Salvage that to one on your own, or this ship took one hell of a beating. Secure forward and scans show the hull alloy took the brunt. That's a tough ship. Superstructure shows compound fractures throughout, but it's holding. Say they've been maneuvering, they might have survived. Initiating move. Stand by. Hey, do you have the frigate as well inside? Control on station. Saving. Okay, cannot dock them. Yeah, can I launch this? Thank you. Ready to copy. Group seven, reinforced. And you guys move up around here. Okay, I don't need to. This is command. You know what? Group seven. It can be group, group eight, eight. Designated. I have group seven reinforced. I have the cannon frigates. Group five. Group five reinforced. Command channel open. And I'll have the mothership at seven. Go for assault. Did I lose? Go for ion. No. Receiving. That's your so frigate is just I did not have reinforced. Selected. Right. We can stay passive. All stations hold fast. Here as well. All stations hold fast. So you don't get the uh, incarnate wreck salvaged. Out of the position. Can't understand what 
I'll just keep them the other ship on. shipwreck logs indicate they were on station and observing the asteroid storm. No idea why they didn't evade, though. I think I may have an answer for that. I've been translating their communication buffer, and their orders were to hold and record her will. Okay. What you got? Telemetry is confirmed we can exit the field here. Continue through the hazard. Use the larger asteroids as protection. Mm, I mean, right. Mothership. Progress is slow but steady. Maintain fleet escort of the mothership. So all the asteroids are coming from the left, which means. Next stop should be around here. New position. There. No, uh, keep All it vertical, vertical for now. Send. You guys can. Uh huh. Moving to support position. Lead to relay damage control telemetry. And then you guys. In the same position, maybe like around here. Position noted. Inbound. Coordinates confirmed. Hopefully, you're not gonna get uh, hit by too many asteroids on my way. Multiple collisions. The hole can't take many hits like that. The mothership has been struck by an asteroid. Caution, resource controller taking damage. I mean, sure, but... Coming through, receiving. Send message. Can the other support figure catch up? It's a bit harder to decide when to... pass. I more or less should be fine. You are gonna go... Stand by. Upwards, right? You heard it. Change scope angle and update tracking. Right. Assault frigate is on location. Uh, you're not at the height that I want you to be. We are still kind of protected. Okay. Let's. Oh, that's a lot of big asteroids over there. Let's have you over Move there. Mark position. Engineer, secure production. Ready to copy. Let's actually have. Frigates down here. Group nine, go evasive. You're in line for reinforcements. A resource controller has been destroyed. Of course, it was. God damn it. Ready to copy. All We've detected the remains of an incarnate carrier. Commence salvage operations. Sure. Get that one, get another C resource controller. Group five, they're in trouble. Security orbit. Uh, okay, I lost more. God damn it. Resource controller complete and ready for operation. Can you guys evade? Go on to go for primary terrain avoidance. That's like three or three gets five total. Send transmission. Well, more. I guess uh, my timing was really, really bad. Keep her away from multiple collisions. I'm trying. The hole can't take many hits like that. Are you? Okay, you're not moving where I want. Rotate Engage assault frigate ready for action. I'm starting to get angry. 
at least uh, the frigates should stay inside for this one. So if I'm gonna lose. Engineering reports that despite heavy damage, the Naraka repair bay should be able to put both incarnate carriers back in operation. They are already a treasure trove of intelligence data, but I have a plan to turn those hulls into a nasty surprise for our enemies. Ah, so I'm not getting uh, carriers right now. Gotcha. Right, you know what, I'm just gonna have... Ready. Should be the resource control as well. Nice. Send message. I mean, I have some salvage over there, but my guys are not. We have capture orders. Spin up collectors, but keep an eye on one. Ion frigate is ready. I need to select what I want to salvage. Gotcha. Yeah, control here. Salvage that one. Position noted. Moving now. The mothership has been struck by an asteroid. Eh, it's fine. I take it. Updated. Check <laughs> okay, we have those guys trying to. Gotcha. <laughs> trying to catch up. Coming through. Some Attention. resources, I guess. We're clear of the asteroid store. We are holding position while engineering takes thrusters offline in order to repair the mothership's stabilizers. Long range sensors are all clear. Let's use this opportunity to get that carrier wreck on board. Source controller destroyed. Send. Wow. My ship. Can we keep it? <laughs> yeah. Try to keep Send it. One sec. Where did you copy? Group nine is taking heavy losses. There was another one. We've lost a resource controller. You for real. Come on, guys. Heading there now. Okay, move, move. Oh, yeah, you're on honor. Carrier wrecks aboard. Good work. Objective complete. We're done here. Ah, you're gonna put me in a cutscene, really? Yeah, I didn't get any time to the get the resources. The complex should recognize us as a friendly vessel. Approach vector locked in. Core repair should go smoothly once we are in position. Okay, so that was the mission. Only got losses. Quick. We have determined that the asteroid storm at Naraka is a relatively recent event. The Incarnate used hyperspace to redirect the moon into an inhabited world. But why? An entire world destroyed. For what? I think this was another attempt to pin us down. We were never meant to escape the trap at the Kala Terminus. Don't forget he also called us an oblivious giant. Was he wrong? We're powerful, but do we really understand what we're up against? <sighs> We've managed to outmaneuver them again, so I wouldn't count us out just yet. Without our cores, it's only a matter of time before they corner us. The only place we can make repairs is at the Naraka Gate Complex. Unfortunately, data from the wrecked enemy carrier indicates the incarnate fleet of the Vale's home base is located here, 
They call it the Citadel, and it is the seat of their military commander, the War Sage. We heard that name from Baldro too. We must assume this War Sage will counterattack as we begin repairs, for the mothership is most vulnerable. How can you be so sure? <sighs> because it's what I would do. Exactly. War Sage. My plan is to form a defensive line at Naraka while you use the facility to repair our cores. Make no mistake, we aren't just fighting for our lives here. An enemy who would shatter a world just to slow us down isn't going to stop with us. This isn't about Higara now. This is about the whole damn galaxy. So I guess uh, we're doing a defense mission. So far, quiet. Hopefully we can fix the visual damage as well, to be honest. Progenitor base systems online. Subverting incarnate recognition protocols. I'm in. Security system standing down. Access granted. The bay is responding. The mothership is in position. Core repairs commencing. Mm, I thought for a second we literally mothership is gonna go inside. Awaiting comparison sample. Cross reference candidate number one zero four two. Failed. System prep reference test number one thousand and forty three. Reference test one zero four three. Awaiting comparison sample. Failed. Insufficient correlation. <sighs> System. Failed. <sighs> System. Failed. <sighs> Insufficient correlation. System failed. Are these tests? Sands and sinners! This corruption has to be deliberate. It's too specific to be random. Ah, okay. It's not star map data. Not military coding, already cross-checked historical data. Okay, focus, Imogen. Bonder child. Treat waveform as a data transform cipher. Working. Transform complete. Playback file retrieved. Play it. This is Karen Sajet, commander and navigator of the Kar Sajuk. Lady Karen? We were on a scientific expedition. We were attacked, pursued by the incarnate and their queen. Her forces overwhelmed us. Returning home was impossible. She is everywhere. She wanted me to abandon the fleet, to join her. She needs the progenitor cores. She must not be allowed to find them. I've dispersed the fleet and hidden the carcage up here. System, open a secure private channel to Intel officer Isaac Paktu. Triple encryption. Isaac, Imogen. We know where Karen is. The so the encryption was enough. She must not be allowed to find them. I've dispersed the fleet and hidden the carcage up here. Fascinating. Rather than give the queen what she wanted, Karen buried the carcage in a mountain of ice. We have to find her, Isaac. If the Sajuk is even still there. 
Play the rest of it. Retrieve the cores. Dismantle them, if you must. Whatever it takes to keep them from her. Imogen, do not believe anything she says, no matter how tempting. I'm sorry. Karen is talking directly to me, Isaac. She needs my help. We can't risk another fleet to chase down a ghost command. For now, we need to stick to the plan and remove the clear and present danger in front of us. Are you ready? Only forward. All right. Oh, what? The repair is complete or... No. All right. Is this going to be a defense mission? I mean, not that we already had one when we had that big fleet of ship surround us. Hyperspace core repairs are well underway and we control the gate complex for now. Power readings in this facility are rising. Oh, of course. The fleet of the Vale is coming. As core attention. repairs will not be complete in time, Defense is our mission objective. We will ambush the incoming forces from the moment they come through the hyperspace gate. The Kar Kushan's production facility has been upgraded and an initial defense force created. This Gross. force contains I... anti strike craft turrets and mine layer frigates. All right. Utilize all the advantages the structure gives us. Reinforce the existing turrets to create a gauntlet. The Incarnate will not survive. With a mothership docked at such a distance from the gate, utilize the carrier to construct and deploy forces right where they're needed. The clock is ticking. Projections anticipate a massive enemy force. They cannot be allowed to reach the Carcassonne while she is vulnerable. All right, that was... Quite a lot. Okay, so uh, I don't know why this kind of reminds me of a tower defense kind of thing, like how the turrets were positioned there, and a certain path the enemy is gonna take. Maybe that's kind of it. And looks like we have already a carrier built up, and from what I managed to see. I think I'm already back up to five harvesters. Although I don't think I managed to queue them to build. Maybe this is the game's way of just giving me a bit extra, you know, time has passed and build my fleet a bit. Because, yeah, we do have mining corvettes apparently, and we already have a carrier. But for now, I'm gonna leave it here for this episode and continue next time. So, hopefully, you enjoyed this part, guys. As always, don't forget to take care.